Hey guys, it's Adam here, your Northern Tech, and welcome to yet another tutorial on Sony Vegas. What I'm going to show you today is how to do chroma keying, also known as green screening. I unfortunately do not have any footage of green screening, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use other footage to show you the basics of chroma keying with Sony Vegas. First thing we need to do is get some footage in our timeline. So what we're going to do is go to the working directory. You know what, this will work. It's got the dog in it. We can mess with the dog. Okay, I'm gonna chop it right at 10 seconds here. Actually, no, I'm gonna basically use the part where he's out in the, in the, in the grass. Or out in the snow, I should say. Grass, come on. All right, we'll get rid of that, get rid of that. The technique I'm about to show you is what I did for Bill's T-Max when I blew him up in that video. He likes to romp in heavy snow banks. See how he's romping over yeah, there? Yeah, he likes. Hang around Loves and ice. stuff. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we need to bring in a special effect. Now these special effects you can get at Detonations Film, or Detonation Films. Uh, they're free, these ones are free. They have a little marquee in them. But um, basically, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag in Grenade. So you drag it above your video so that it sits on the overlay. Now, the thing is with these is it has Detonation Film at the beginning. You just scan ahead a little bit. And then it'll go away. You hit split to copy it, or to cut it, delete the beginning part, and there it is. Now, where are we going to blow up the dog? Perfect, right when he jumps. So we're going to bring it right here. Now, right now it's over masking the film, right? You go to this little ribbon thing, click on it, it brings up your list. Sony Chroma Keyer is what you want. So double click, adds it up here to the main ribbon. You click OK. And now you can sort of see through it, right? Well, we'll just make this a little bit bigger. Now you have your low threshold, your high threshold, and your blur amount. If you bring up your low threshold, you'll notice that it gets a little bit more transparent. Uh, it should be good there. We'll just test it out here. See that you get the rump and heavy snow paint. And uh, he likes the rump and heavy snow. Now that doesn't really look right. So now what you got to do is find out where your explosion starts. It's right there. Click on here. Always do this match to output aspect ratio. And then you can basically move the explosion wherever you want to make it look uh, different. And uh, he likes oh, the rough and heavy like, snow oh, banks. I'm turning around. And yeah, he likes. You know? Now it still looks kind of green. And heavy snow banks. See that? And yeah, he likes. So you might have to mess around with your settings on the chroma key here and turn down your thresholds and turn up your thresholds until you get it perfectly right. But in the end, uh, he likes the rump, the heavy snow banks. Like that. And he likes. And of course, you can add sound effects and all that jazz just to make it sound, you know, as good as uh, make it look and sound, I should say, as good as you want. But you get an idea as to how to do chroma keying. So all you need to do, like I say, is go into the ribbon, add the chroma key here change whatever the background color is here and you have full control. The other option is you can actually use this this drop clicker so let's move this here to black and you see how it turns all blue. Well if you click on the eyedropper click on the blue, boom it'll auto automatically set this and then now when we play it, it should look perfect. Uh, he likes to romp in heavy snow banks. Or not work at all. Freak sakes. Now what the hell happened? I think my threshold set too high. Like I said, you're going to have to play with the thresholds and all that. Theoretically, I shouldn't even need any. But uh, there you go, and the final footage looks something like this. Here's the world in heavy snow banks. And eat ice. I'm such a fluffy puppy. Yeah. And well, I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, tutorial on Chroma King and Sony Vegas. Like I say, if you have a green screen, you can do it. Oh, you put yourself on a green screen and then put yourself in Hawaii or whatever. Or like I did on my old channel in the Star Trek, uh, Star Trek Enterprise. You know, you can do whatever you want. So green screening, it's fun. And now you know how to do it in Sony Vegas. All right, guys, take care.